Welcome to our kitchen. Today we did some work on the inside of the house for a change. We've been doing a lot of outside work. One thing when we moved in this house um, we noticed is that we didn't have a lot of counter space or cabinet space. You can see here this is the the counter here. That is it. One cool thing about it is it's still all original for the most part. The countertop has some wear here you can see but for the most part it's in pretty good shape the original trim pieces all around and one of my favorite features is the original backsplash has made it all these years uh, it was covered up with uh, like um, contact paper making it look like marble and we pulled the contact paper off and i was so happy to find the original backsplash back there but anyway so we moved in we took off the cabinet doors in the bottom because the oven, our new oven, would not open with the cabinet doors in place. It just wouldn't clear. Because they were pretty chunky cabinet doors. They were made like this one here, which is the only door left. But you can see they're kind of they're kind of thick. So we took those off and we hung shower curtains up. Um, we've been through two types of shower curtains. This is the second one. This one's about a year and a half old. And we put it on this rod and it slides back and forth. It works pretty well. It's... Uh, obviously somewhat transparent more so on the camera because I have the light on but it conceal things conceals things for the most part we also took the cabinet doors off the top here because the cabinet doors are really big and the kitchen's really small and it would just seem like something you'd kill yourself on so today I decided to go to Walmart and get some more curtain rods and get some more shower curtains and this time I got the clear version of what we have downstairs and I hung them all over the kitchen. This is the area where the dining room table is supposed to go, by the way. We have these butcher blocks here instead. So these shelves here, uh, we got at Ikea. And we added these a few years ago. I'll open the curtains up here. And they were originally decorative. We had our plates and stuff stored pretty cutely on there, like we do on this shelf here. But as time goes on, you need more stuff, and you collect more food, and you find things on sale. So these shelves just really came, became looking very cluttery, and I didn't like it. So we finally got that resolved. These are just regular. These are the cheapest little curtain rods they sell at Walmart. You see, we just double hooked them so that it can't slide off. So pretty easy stuff. And I just cut the shower curtains to fit. And it looks great, and it hides a lot of that without making it really feel that much smaller. The cabinets up here we have our pots and pans and whatnot stored there. And it's all pretty easy to open stuff. We made sure we cut them so it's easy to open and uh, fold out pretty well. Anyways, this is our little kitchen update we did today. It makes a huge difference in a really small kitchen. Now up here we have our freeze-dried foods that we have for kind of emergencies and daily use. These foods stay fresh for 25 years if you don't open them and they stay fresh for a year even opened. Um, but this shelf here we added this pine trim to kind of give it a decorative feel. This is more of that uh, shelving from Ikea. But anyway, a big improvement over what we had. I have to do one more over here. We opted for a smaller fridge so we could put these shelves on top. But I'm going to do one more of these clear curtains over there. I'm not going to do one over here because it's above the oven. Plus we have the spice rack that Jeremy made up here. And that, for those of you who are wondering, is our little dishwasher. And uh, it's in the middle of drying right now. I'd open it up. But that's our little dishwasher. So any questions about how to do it, let me know where the materials used. I'd be happy to help. It's an effective way. It cost me about 50 bucks and made a huge difference. Have a great day.